Hey there. You ever been working on something and wondered whether you actually needed to change an O-ring or not? The, you know, the best thing I could say is anytime you're working on something and you're ordering parts and O-rings and seals and stuff are involved, consider the age, uh, the vehicle use, you know, they're cheap. Man, just replace them is my thoughts. But sometimes you run into something you're working on you didn't expect to replace it because you didn't take it apart. Uh, so that's a problem that I'm running into right now. So I wanted to get, I wanted to just talk a little bit about how do you know if you should replace an O-ring if it isn't got a real obvious leak, okay? And let's take a look at some ways we can determine that. And I've got this engine coolant temperature sensor and it's for surely leaking. But the point I want to make it here is that when I go to put this, you know, in its position here, it, it just falls right into place. There's no effort, okay? So it there's no effort whatsoever. And see how wobbly it really is? Let me show you a close-up of what's going on here. What we have is O-ring supposed to be round and create that seal. And in this particular case, you can actually see how flat it is. And when it's flat like that, it's not going to have near the potential integrity. So we're kind of looking more for that hump. So the visual on this is a good indicator that it could be changed as well. Let's find a fitting so O-ring. That broke pretty easy. What's that tell you right there? It was hard and it was uh, it was due and ready for replacement. Looking pretty good right there. I'm also looking for the right width as well. You know, per the manual, they don't have a size of what this O-ring is. All they're uh, doing is giving you a part number to say to replace it. So you don't have that benefit to actually use the sizes in the kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one out. Okay, look at that now. Remember before where I stuck the straight edge on there? So it's nice and humped up over there in the center. Let's try this one, see what it feels like. Make sure with O-rings you want to lube them. Get it nice and wet. Now it actually has like a, takes effort to, uh, to get it in there. I kind of walk it in there and then I'll see if I can rotate it into place. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that one. All right, I gotta go ahead and re-pressurize uh, the system and test this uh, sensor. So before it was just leaking a little bit of soapy water around here. Let's see if we're good. Go ahead and uh, pump up the system. No more leaks. Pumped up the tool here. Okay, so I'm just over 16 PSI, and this has a a 1.1 cap, which is equal in PSI to that 16. So what we'd want to do is let it just sit here and hold. You know, before when I would pump up the system, it would literally just dump right away. I had a leak on a hose. And then I also had uh, a leak at this fitting, allowing it to build zero pressure. Why is this so important to me? I'm super happy right now. Because this bike had less than 20 ounces of coolant in it when I drained it to work on it. It was, I mean, it was literally out of coolant. Thermostat was stuck shut. Big clue. We have two sources of leaks, allowing it not to build pressure, which means that the boiling point of the fluid would be much less. And let's face it, this is a 2002 motorcycle. Do you want to bet that that uh, coolant was old and not serviced? Probably more than likely. I mean, it's a highly overlooked item on vehicles that are easy to access. You got a Tiger here like this that you have to take off the entire tank and fairings and body to even get to the, to the cap here. Uh, probably extremely overdue on uh, the cooling system. So I'm going to keep moving forward and man, just uh, anxious to uh, fire this baby up. Keep wrenching and thanks for watching the channel. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.